Hey Pixies, today we're doing a scrub ombre video and I'm using my Manny Boss Dip Base Activator, my Model 1's Gel Base and Gel Top Coat. The green powder there is Double Dip Save in the Day and the pink is Glittery Pink, also from Double Dip. I'll be using some different nail art things, my stamping polish, stamping plates, but both of these Double Dip colors glow in the dark and I saw Kate's Nail Corner do this beautiful scrub ombre with a feather or she might have used a leaf stamp and she did it on both sides of her nail and I fell in love with it. So I wanted to do something similar and I just thought that these colors would be super fun for summer and I also love anything that glows in the dark. So I decided to use two dips that glowed in the dark for some extra fun but I am just applying my Manny Boss Dip Base to each nail and doing a basic dip powder application. I'm just using Save in the Day on each of my fingers and then cleaning up the edges with a toothpick to make sure that there's nothing on my skin or where I don't want it before it hardens. And then I am going to move on to some clear dip powder and um, do the scrub ombre. So I'll be back here in just a second. We are now going to start our scrub ombre. So I do change my method here. I was kind of testing it on my pinky finger. I put the dip base on and did a dip of Save in the Day. And then I took the pink and I started scrubbing it on. I just kind of dipped the tip of my finger in to get it saturated a little bit. And then I start scrubbing it on. However, the dip base was not dry enough for me to continue doing that. So what I do instead is apply some of the dip base and I do a quick dip of my clear dip powder and then I start scrubbing that onto the clear dip powder. So if you're doing it on top of clear, it will saturate a little bit more. And if you're trying to scrub it onto a color like the green, it may not really pick it up. So if you do that dip of clear, it will saturate better. So it's easier to stain the clear dip powder than it is a color. So I quickly changed to doing that. So what I do is I do my dip base, dip in the clear, and then I just dip the very tip of my finger into whatever color I'm scrubbing on just to get that saturated real good there at the end of my nail. And then I start picking it up with the eyeshadow brush and scrubbing it on, doing back and forth motions. And I do them really quick and I take my time to really saturate it, make sure it's blending well. So I will do that on each of my nails and I will be back.
Now I'm just applying my dip base and doing a dip of clear to encapsulate it so that I don't damage anything with the buffing and filing. If you're getting white spots on your manicure whenever you're done buffing and filing, then you need to make sure that you're capping and clear because you're buffing and filing off the color from your nail. So if you do that dip of clear, you're buffing and filing on top of the clear powder. So that should help with your situation if that's happening to you. So I'm just doing my dip of clear and cleaning up the edges as I normally would and now I'm going to activate each nail so I'm doing a good coat of activator on each finger and then I am going to wait about two minutes and then I buff file and reshape so here I have already done that and now I'm going to pick which stamp I would like to do and I really like these feather stamps. So I got this as a set off of Amazon. I will try to find the set and link it for you. And if I didn't say, everything will be linked in the description box as well as some discount codes. So feel free to check that out if you're interested in any of the products. Right now, I am just taking my Model One's gel base coat and applying that to each nail. And I am going to cure that then for 30 seconds. That just gives you a nice kind of tacky layer to do your stamping on and it just gives you that nice base layer. So I cured that for 30 seconds and now I'm going to take my black stamping polish. This one is from Born Pretty and I'm just applying that to the stamp that I wanna pick up and then scraping it off and using my jelly stamper to pick it up and clean it up with the lint roller. So this is where I sadly find out that the rest of my nails are not going to be able to do a stamp on each side like my thumb. So originally I wanted to do a stamp on each side of my nail, but my nails are either too small or the stamp that I picked is just a little too big. So that was a bummer, but we carried on. I do two stamps on my thumb and then the rest of the fingers just have it on the one side. So I am going to just keep applying that stamping polish to that same one, wiping it off with the scraper, and then picking it up with the jelly stamper and cleaning up the edges of that with the lint roller. And then you just look through it and apply the stamp to where you want it to be. So to clean off then, you just use that lint roller and run it over the surface before you try to pick it up again if there's any debris left behind. So I will go ahead and let you watch me finish this up with the stamp and I'll be back. Once I'm done with my stamps, the stamping polish dries pretty quick. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my Model One's gel base coat and I do a layer on each nail. Now, if you are using the gel method or if you're using a gel top coat on top of your dip powder, if you're getting any kind of peeling or cracking in that, then if you apply your gel base first and cure it for like 30 seconds and then apply your gel top coat, that usually resolves the issue. That's what was happening to me whenever I first started doing the gel top coats. And I started doing that gel base first and then applying the top coat and it totally fixed it. I didn't have any more cracking or any more peeling from the edges or it was usually happening at the corner of my nail. So I am now applying my gel top coat. This one is also model ones and I cure that for one minute and that is our finished result. So I think it turned out super cute and I'm just going to rehydrate my skin with my cutic oil. While I do that, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. To see more content, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos. If you have any questions or video suggestions, leave a comment below or find me on Instagram at Zipping Pixie. I'd love to see you over there as well. That's it for this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one.